Hey y'all, Bridget Bartlett here. I am the local business marketing training and support specialist with Buildraw. We have all heard the saying, the money is in the list. With 98% of adults having an email address that they check daily, you can understand why this can be a valuable way to reach your potential customers or leads. But when they open your email, just like meeting in person, you only get one chance to make a first impression. You want to represent your business in a professional way while giving them value. One way to do this is to create a branded email template for your business. You want them to recognize your brand from your website and social media. So being congruent with your emails is a really important part of that. I just recreated my own business template, so I wanted to share with you how I did it and hopefully get you thinking about ways you can create your own template for your own business. So as you see here, I've just created a graphic, making sure that it's the correct size, which we'll go over that in just a second. I also put, you know, my um, catchy headline here. I have a QR code in the corner and my name and web address. But also down here is an important part because in my mentorship program, I have I'm promoting builder all. Okay. So I want to promote all of the tools. This email template is going to go to my mentorship leads. Okay. So once they sign up for my mentorship program, then they get, you know, a free builder all account and all these courses and everything. So I want to, every time I send them an email, I want to remind them of the value that I'm providing them inside my mentorship program. Now, one cool thing about this too, is you can make these images clickable. So when you click on this button, it goes to my membership page on my website. So to, to allow them to know that it's clickable, I wanted to put a button here. So really, if you click anywhere on this image, it'll take them to the membership page, but, um, I want them to know that it's clickable. So that's why I added this button here, okay? So you can see I added the tag for the first name and then um, here's just some dummy text and then I always put this at the bottom of my emails and then my name. All right, so I want to show you how I did this and to create these graphics, which is the first thing we need to do, I want to go to Canva. Okay. Now, if you go to canva.com, you can create a free account. They have a free forever account and then there's a pro account, which I just love. It just has more bells and whistles. So if you type in email header, it'll give you the perfect size. Okay. Now the size is important when you're creating an email header because it needs to uh, look great on mobile. It needs to load the correct size. If it's too large, sometimes it'll be blocked in spam. So just lots of reasons you want to make sure that your image is the correct size. Canva is really cool because they give you all of these templates to choose from. And if you're new to any kind of design, you want to make sure that you start Start with a template because, you know, it seems like such an easy thing, but, you know, using the right fonts and do you see sometimes it, you just don't think about this when you're creating it and then you realize, oh, there's a reason why there are skilled designers. For example, using this font here, making it this size, underneath it, using this font, making it that size, adding the little, um, you know hashtag here and then the social media um, link there it's like you it's just really hard to know you know so if you're brand new creating a template is an awesome way to do that okay so let's just choose a template uh, we won't make ours exactly like I created mine just because I, I want to give you some more ideas uh, as we scroll through here actually let's just go ahead and we'll just choose this one here so now this is already the perfect size, okay? Now what we need to do is change the pictures and change the brand, obviously the text. So to change the picture, all you need to do is left click on the image and you can actually just click delete. But now we need a new picture. So let's go ahead and go back to the uploads here and let's just choose a picture of mine. Um, okay, we'll just choose this one. This is basically my standard profile picture. We'll just put that there. Um, 
we'll stretch it out just a little bit. We'll make this just a little bit larger since my picture's not the right size. Move that over. And as you can see, when you use Canva, see the little pink lines there as you move it around, it tells you if it's centered. So that is another really, really helpful tip. So um, we can just type something here like, uh, this is an awesome email header. And then maybe we want to put our website down here. So we'll just say visionmarketinganddesign.com. And then now we need our branded colors. Now there are a few ways that you can do this. If you don't have a, um, a branded template for your business, go to the, uh, the search box in the group and then search for color palettes. And you'll find the video that I created to show you how to choose the perfect color palette. But what I do once it's chosen is I just put it on a little notepad here and then I keep the hex codes uh, for easy access. Another way that you can do that if you already have a logo is you can, if you're using Canva, you can drag your logo to your um, to your image that you're creating. And then if you select a color and you go to change the color, your logo colors will automatically show up here. So that's a really cool way. Um, if I wanted to use the if I wanted to use my branded colors, I would just take the hex code here and then copy it. And then since I've already selected the blue color, which you know because there's blue, when you click the blue here and you go to new color, you can simply click control V, paste the color there. Now that is the exact purple that is on my branded colors, okay? So um, I actually, to make it easier for me, I just will leave the logo here until I'm done. That way I don't have to keep entering the hex codes. So let's go ahead and we'll just change this color here. See how it automatically shows blue. And let's add the, we'll just choose the light yellow color. Let's go ahead and we'll change this teal color. Maybe just make this the orange color. And then now we have, I'll go ahead and delete. And now we have our sample email header. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and download this image. But we want to definitely create a footer as well. Because you can always put a link in your um, in your emails, but it just looks better and more professional if you have, like like I have at the bottom, that footer. Um, let me show you again. The footer here, because again, if I'm wanting them to click here or I just want to run an ad, I mean, you could put any kind of ad if your business doesn't really have something like this that you want to offer, which every business does. You can just simply put your ad here and then just do click here to, you know, get your coupon or something and send them to a page to download a coupon. There's lots of options. So really start thinking like, how can you utilize, especially this bottom panel here, because they're going to, you know, see your email right away then you want them to read it then they're going to get to this point where you want them to take action okay so it's kind of like introduction content or context and then the action part okay so you really want to think about what can I put at the bottom of my emails on a consistent basis because this is a template okay so we want to create a template that can be reused because every time they open our email, we want them to recognize this and be familiar with this. It takes seven to 10 times to expose someone to our business or brand, and this is part of it. So we want this to be congruent. So um, think about whatever you can put down here, and I wanna show you how you can easily create this image and then add a little button here that says click. All right, so let's go ahead and to copy this. So we don't wanna really change the size or any of that. So let's go ahead and just go to file and then we will do make a copy. So now we don't, we're not changing our header just in case we wanna come back and make a few changes later on. We're just gonna copy it and now this is going to be the sample email footer. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll take my picture off of here. Let's add a box. So we'll go to elements and let's just go ahead and add the square. Now these, the in the elements section on Canva, when you add a square or you can see there's lots of these options, you can change these colors. There's lots of things that you can do with them. So maybe for your business, you want to choose a circle or, you know, whatever that you want to do. And then you can put anything in there. I, I just like things to be very, um, very straight lines. I, I don't really like circles a lot, but you could choose any of these images you, that you see here and do the same edits that I'm going to show you with the square. So let's go ahead and just delete that. We will make this square just a little bit bigger. And I also like this just because of the congruency with our header. You know, it had my picture all the way here like this, but we do want this to be a little bit different. Okay. So let's go ahead and we can actually, we'll shrink this down maybe just a little. And you guys can totally get creative with this. I mean, as long as you start with a template, that's really the basics. But then, you know, play around and customize and work with it. And you might create something that you hate, but um, you'll get better. Okay, so let's go ahead. And now if we select this box, you see that we have the color red here. Now you also see that we don't have my branded colors because I don't have my... Um, I don't have my logo on this image. You can, with Canva, select your branded colors, but this is actually for my main brand and not this brand. So um, let's go ahead and we'll just drag my logo over to, let me find it here. We'll drag my logo over to our image. That way we have our branded colors. And we'll select our box again. Now we want to change this. So let's go ahead and we could change this to yellow if we want. But um, I like to actually put black text. See, we have some white text here. But for this purpose, just like in our, um, in our image here, I wanted to show you how I do this. So I'm just going to add this as a white box. And then I want to maybe shrink this down a little bit just so that it doesn't, um, it has some edges and a little dimension. Maybe shrink that over just a little bit. But now it's too white. So let's go ahead and as long as this box is selected, if you come up here, you can see there's a little transparency box. If you hover over it, it says transparency. And you can change this so that it doesn't look so stark, okay? You can also, um, another option I like to choose is a uh, black color. If you're using a really light background, maybe you wanna have the black. But we'll just go ahead and stick with the shade that we have now, but now we need some text. So let's go over to the text and we'll go ahead and choose. You can also with Canva choose your default fonts, like your brand. So really setting all this up ahead of time really makes it easy. So my brand font is Lato. So this is Lato Black, and then we just have Lato, the um, just regular Lato. So those are my fonts already chosen. If I wanted to choose a different font, I could just select it here. Actually, it's Lato Heavy. And then I could choose any of these fonts that we want to choose. But again, I just like things to be very, um, not really, I, I really don't know how to describe it. I just, I like things clean and simple. <laughs> okay. So um, let's just go ahead and we'll call this, um, sample info and then we'll just move this over here just to line it up correctly and then we need this lined up correctly and we'll say um, here are the benefits of my business
and we'll put this here. Maybe we can shrink this down just a little bit if the size doesn't look good. We could also change the size up here. Let's line this up correctly. And then maybe we want to choose some more text. So we could highlight this and we can duplicate. So now we have, we'll just add, we'll keep duplicating because here is where we want to definitely tell them why you want to choose our business over our competitors. And we'll just leave it at that. So here's our image. Make sure this is all lined up. Make sure your website's there. We'll go ahead and delete this. Okay, so let's pretend that we love this. We'll stretch this out a little bit. See, I'm so picky. Um, so let's pretend that we love this, even though it doesn't look great and it doesn't really sell anything. And now we want to add a button because we want them to click this. Okay, so let's go to elements again and let's just X out of this and let's choose. Let's just type in click here and see what the options are. So here's a really colorful one. I like that. I like that. You could also choose this one. So if we wanted to choose this, we could. The only thing about this one that I don't like is you can't change the colors. And I really want this to be branded. So let's delete that and let's choose another one. If we choose this one, you can see when you select it that the colors come up here. So that means that we can change it. So that's what we want to see. We want to see one that we can change the colors. So let's go back. Now I forgot that we need my branded colors here again because I don't want to have to keep entering all the hex codes. So I'll just drag that back in here. Now let's select this and change the colors. So we'll change the black to purple. We'll change the white to pale yellow. We'll change the red to pink, and then we'll change the yellow to orange, okay? So now we have our branded click this button. We'll go ahead and delete our logo again, and we'll just put this somewhere. Again, this is not something that I consider just the coolest email footer but you guys get the process you you see how you can create these things and then just simply insert it into your email template okay and we do have in builder all we have some pre-made templates for you and i'm going to show you those before we actually start um, adding this to create our own template from scratch okay so we have our click this um, button and we have our sample info with all the benefits of our business and we have our you know awesome email oh, except it's not a header, it's a footer. So, okay, so here we go. Now we're just gonna download this. All right, now let's go back into our templates here. And before I we create our blank one, like I said, I wanna show you the templates that we already have available, okay? So if you scroll through here into the email templates gallery, you see there are already some created, which definitely check out and, you know, obviously use if you want them. I really like this one. Let's go ahead and import it and I'll show you what this looks like. So when you create your templates, you have uh, your gallery here of your templates. So let's go ahead and just edit the template that we imported. And you see, it kind of just looks like a Word document. So this would be like for a music class. So you could put your logo here, your social media icons. You can actually connect each page of your website and make this kind of like um, like a little sample website by adding these to your website here obviously some content, your business name and website and all of that. So this is a great example of a template that you could use. But again, I just like to make my template very, very simple. Okay, so of course, use one of these if you're not very creative and you just don't know what to put, of course use one of these. But if you are like me and you just want something really simple and customize it yourself, go ahead and do what I'm getting ready to show you. Okay, so let's cancel out of this and let's go to create new. 
So now we have a blank canvas and we're just going to title this template sample. Now I need to add an image to the top. Okay, so all I need to do is drag that in the box here. Now to upload our image, our header that we created, we want to choose load image and then we'll scroll through here and I will find our sample email header. Okay, so there's our sample email header. And now we need an email footer. So let's go ahead and add, let's drag the image here. And then we will click load image. And then let's look for our sample email footer. Um, you can tell I'm not very organized here. Sample and where is our footer we just created? Oh, here we go. Sorry, I, I guess I didn't realize that it was purple for some reason. All right, so there is our email footer. All right, now to add a clickable link to this, all we need to do is left click and then we want to just paste our web address or our uh, coupon or whatever we want to the whatever we want to offer them for clicking on this we want to insert the link here and that's all you need to do now one more thing i like to do is if you double click in the paragraph section we'll just click enter um, you can type hello and then you can add a tag, but on your templates, it won't allow you to add the tag for the first name. And I like to add that because I don't like to have to remember every time. So if you just click the, um, this symbol here and you can type F name in capital letters and then close it with the bracket there and then click the comma. We'll just delete some of the space here then you already have that tag in there now I want to add my closing thing that I always add here so um, let's see please feel free to contact me anytime if you have questions and then I'm gonna put my name here and then I'm just going to save my template. So now every time I want to send a new email, I'm just going to pull up this template and I'm going to just type in the box here. I can add from that point anything that I want to. So if I wanted to add an additional image, I could do that. Or if I wanted to delete anything here and it won't affect my template. Okay. So everything that you do to create an email, no matter what you do with that template, it will only go for that email that you're sending. So I hope you guys found some value from this. I hope I gave you some ideas of how you can use an email template to build engagement and with your customers and help them to recognize your brand. And I will see you in the next video. Go build it with BuilderAll.